every year I make a new video and I show you how my bamboo grove is doing. I started this about, oh, seven or eight years ago. Originally, I planted running bamboo back here and I made a video on how to plant bamboo and keep it contained. And that video has almost a half million views. If you want to see all my previous updates, just check my channel out and go back and watch the previous updates and you'll see how this grove went from some small plants, three robustas in the middle and two scabritas on the end to what you see now. This year I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to fertilize this grove. I have never fertilized this bamboo grove. So I want to see if it gets greener, if it grows faster and thicker. So yesterday I made my intro to this video and that was April 10th. Today is the 11th and we hadn't had any sign of snow for ages and this is what I woke up to this morning. Three or four inches of snow and it's just dumping. And look at my bamboo grove. It's just laying down on its side and completely covering the garden. It's the Pacific Northwest. I guess you just never know what you're gonna get. Okay, fast forward to the end of the day, to the end of April 11th, and this is what the bamboo grove looks like now. The snow has melted off today and the bamboo is standing up again. So that's good. Um, let's get a little closer up look at some of these columns. You can see this is the robusta plant in the middle. Some of those columns are getting nice and tall already, a couple feet tall. And there's a lot coming up in the scabrita here. One problem is that some of these are coming up outside my border, so I am going to hack those off. And I am a little bit sad about these poor onions that got all covered up, but hopefully they'll still survive. They're supposed to be cold weather plants. And I planted a bunch of lettuce and spinach the other day too, and hopefully it will live as well. Okay, so it looks like most of my spinach and onions survived the heavy snow. This is April 12th, the next day after the snow, it's all gone. And I'm going to go ahead and hand broadcast some lawn fertilizer throughout the bamboo grove. And then we're gonna see how the grove does this year. Does it do any better than normal? Does it green up a little bit? We'll find out. Okay, I hope I didn't over fertilize it, but when I called the bamboo gardens, they said, even if I did over fertilize it a little bit, bamboo is very hardy and it should be fine, no problem. So let's see how it goes. There are five plants in this grove. The three in the middle are robustas and the two on the ends are scabritas. I wish I had gotten all robustas for this hedge because the, the robustas in the middle are more upright. Whereas the scabritas, they, 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 they fall over like this, see that? And they just kind of, whoa. And so they, they end up covering things that I don't want them covering, like this blueberry. So I, this is my prized blueberry plant here, so I'm gonna have to trim this back. Not only that, um, look at, look at, I don't know if you can see this here, look at this. There's a blueberry right here that used to never be covered, and now it's completely covered. And also, if you notice, this is outside my border, as is this, and as is this. And it's growing up right in the middle of that blueberry plant. So I can't imagine that blueberry is going to do well this year. Anyway, I'm going to hack these off. So let me get to that. Keep in mind that these bamboo plants, they get bigger than you think. They're clumping bamboo, yes, but um, they spread. They spread. So you want to have them contained. This one's outside. Now, I honestly don't know if by trimming these like this, I'm gonna stop the spread of the roots. I probably need to actually dig the roots out and, and figure out like where, where the root is spreading and hack that off. But for now, I'm just gonna do this and hope that no more come up out here this year. And then I'm gonna trim off some of these little guys, like this guy. It's just little and it's just kind of getting in the way. And you can do that. You can trim back, trim these back as much as you want. You're not gonna hurt anything. But especially these short little ones, like if you want your grove to look a little bit cleaner, sometimes trimming these out is nice. This blueberry honestly probably needs to be moved. By the way, get yourself good clippers. I mean, having crappy clippers sucks. I actually have better clippers than these, but I can't find them. Okay. And tear off these little clumps of uh, leaves, they just rip right off. And that'll clear out the inside a little bit. 
take some of the weight off some of these okay so here's this little guy you can see i trimmed a lot of it back and now you can see this plant unfortunately there are bamboo roots kind of under this blueberry so that's not going to bode well for this blueberry it probably should be moved and as you can see i trimmed off a whole ton of bamboo i'm not too worried about just hacking this thing back because these bamboo plants can handle it so as you can see i've trimmed this back i kind of have this separated from the blueberry now um, so that it can grow but uh I don't know, every year this is gonna be an issue uh, with my blueberries and my bamboo. Um, lack of forethought, lack of uh, realizing how big these bamboo plants are actually gonna get. You can also see that uh, this bamboo plant is escaping its containment as well. I have, like I say, a border around the whole thing and these big rocks in front, these, these, like I said, these go three deep into the ground. Um, and then the, the actual bamboo border goes around the edges. It's 30 inches deep if this plant is still finding a way to escape because there's a little corner here that's that it can get out so i'm just going to hack these off i probably should like i said before dig down and find the roots and hack the root but i'm not going to worry about it i'm just going to break these off you know i guess i could cut them and uh just hope that uh i can keep this you know from being a problem every year but as you can see, these bamboo plants spread more than I thought they were going to initially, which is okay. I'll find a way to keep up with them. I mean, it's just a plant after all, and I'm a human. I can manage these suckers. Here's a blueberry plant I dug up last year from a, from a blueberry farm. I got it for 30 bucks, massive. And, uh, it struggled a little bit last year, but it's looking pretty good this year. I just trimmed it back a little bit and uh, maybe this will become my new prize blueberry plant. And I forgot to tell you the date. It's April 24th. And uh, so it's a couple weeks after I did my last one. But you can see some of these combs are getting pretty tall. This is These are the robusta plants in the middle. These are like three, four feet tall here. And uh, here's a, a couple feet tall. Here's about, you know, maybe three feet here, two feet here three and a half four feet this one's maybe four feet so they're really going to town this one's a lot of them are still new like this one's like six inches and uh so a lot of new growth and um we'll see how how they do but uh a lot of new growth my biggest issue this year is just how much it's spreading and uh, kind of going into my other plants so i've already showed you that a little bit today okay so this is may 7th and i haven't been out here for a while just want to show you how, how these are going though. They're, they're really going to town. Look at this. So in just a couple weeks, they've gone from a couple feet to, you know, seven, eight feet. Look at this guy. So I'm guessing that uh, fertilizer did some good because look at that, wow. And then this guy is this tall, this tall. These are really going to town. This one's up here, this one's way up here. See that? Way up there. Look at that. So looking good, you can see all the the white, the white combs, that, that's the, all the new growth on these robusta plants in the middle here. Okay, so this is the scabrita on the west side. This is the plant that got the most exposure to the sun when we had that massive heat wave last summer where it got up to almost 120. And you can see a lot of this plant is looking really bad. So like this, you know, that just looks bad. And this, a lot of damage, a lot of uh, kind of dead spots on here. And some of these, look at this one, there's not even a... There's nothing on here it just looks terrible so i'm gonna get in here one of these days and just really go to town on on these on these, these dead ones and just clean this out and the new growth will come up and it'll look really nice yeah look at that there's another one a lot of these are just terrible so i'm gonna spend some time fixing this this guy up the scabrita on the other end looks quite a bit better and also this scabrita is getting kind of big and heavy and leaning over my garden so that's another reason to really you know hack it back see how it's just kind of umbrellaing over my garden here so it really needs to i really gotta hack this back i do like i think i've said this before but i really kind of wish i had gotten robustus for the whole thing because they're just more upright so if you have them behind a garden go for robustus they're a lot more upright and as far as the new growth goes on this plant there's quite a bit um this is outside the border unfortunately so it's got to go there we go you can see it's a, it's about a couple feet tall but there's a lot of new growth. You can see them, they're kind of a, a different color. They're kind of this 
orange color. Since this guy here is about three feet tall. This guy here maybe about four feet tall. Evan, what are you doing? Oh, you got that. Meditating. He's hmm. meditating. He said he is providing the Zen. Okay, so this is May 22nd. And you can see as a result of the fertilizer that I put on this year, these columns are growing taller, thicker, and faster than ever before. There are already a ton of new columns that are taller than the previous year's growth. And that's great because there's still a couple weeks left in this growing season. And it does look like the grove is actually greener than it was before, but that's just the eye test. I can't really do a before and after comparison on the iPhone because there's so much color shift on the iPhone, I never trust the colors. And I'll tell you what, these columns are super tall and super thick and they're looking really good. This is the best this grove has done. And I didn't get any breakage this year. The, the, the wind and the snow and all that didn't break any of my new uh, growth this year, which is awesome. So I'm really excited this year to see what this is gonna look like in another couple weeks. Okay, check this out. All these new columns, they're super thick and tall. Look at this. Look at these. New growth, new growth, new growth. These are all new growth, right? Look at those. They're all super tall and they're still growing. So. Let's wait a couple weeks on these. And what's really cool is they're filling in some of the gaps and they're getting taller. So this is gonna be the first year I think both stories in my neighbor's house are gonna be blocked, finally. I, I think, we'll see. But I wanna show you something else today about the border. I'm gonna show you the border in the back of the grove. Something I don't know that I've shown you guys before. So I want you to see it. Okay, so the reason I want you to see this is because if you use the right type of border and you contain your bamboo correctly, you shouldn't have any issues. As you see, my grove stops. It just stops right there on my border and doesn't get any closer to my fence all the way down. It's because that border is 30 inches in the ground and it's done right from the beginning. So if you're going to get bamboo and you don't want it spreading, you gotta have a border in the ground. This is 30 inches deep. Watch my very, very first bamboo video. It's like six, seven years ago, maybe even longer. Um, and it shows how I put this border in. It's when I had running bamboo back here. But I just wanted you to see that border and how well it actually works. So once in a while, um, a root will cross over the top of the border and I just cut it off before it has a chance to root. But I always keep an eye on it back here. So this is May 28th and look at those high combs. I, I really believe that the fertilizer made a huge difference, right? Because I've never had growth like this in the, in the grove. Look at that. All those new columns stretching up a few feet above the old growth. That is awesome. When those, when those really start to flower, that house over there is gonna be mostly blocked, as you can see. So that's just awesome. Um, I, I guess I probably should have fertilized these before. Okay, my neighbor wants some bamboo, so I'm going to dig up this escabrita on the end that's escaping and take it over to him, so. I've never tried this before. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. Well, there's that. I wonder if that will live. I just kind of thrashed it. But I kind of want to get that whole thing, so I'm still digging here. My border ends right over here. So it went under this rock. Yeah, this is all part of it here. So, there we go. There we go. That should be something that I think will live, right? That looks pretty cool. I gotta keep the grape here. This grape, I gotta keep it out of my blueberry because my blueberry here is this is about a year now since I've transplanted it. It's looking pretty good. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this bamboo up a little bit. Anything that's kind of dead from the heat dome we had last year, which was actually about this time, it's really strange. This year it's um, it's a lot chillier and rainier. This has been one of the wettest springs I can remember. But last year about this time, it was like 117 degrees out here. And a lot of this bamboo just kind of did this, right? So there's no point in keeping combs like this um, I don't know. There is some green down below, but this is all dead on the top. So I'm just going to cut this whole thing out. And anything that's really thin down there, I'm just going to cut it out because um, I want 
I want to promote the new growth, the thicker growth, and you know the bigger combs, and get rid of some of the old, or really thin combs. So it's okay. Like, look at this thin. Oh no, this is a new one. Never mind. The new one. I'm not going to cut it out. But anything that looks kind of half dead like this and is real thin, I'm going to just cut out at the bottom. Now see this one. It looks nice and healthy, but it's also it's really small and thin. So I kind of want to clear out the grove a little bit, make it look a little less dense. It's like I broke a new one. That's too bad. That's a nice, thick new one there. These guys here, like this one looks kind of dead. I'll go down to the bottom, find that one. This one next to it, same. One here, same. Look at all these three here. They're all just kind of dead on the ends. I'm gonna go to the bottom of those and get rid of those for sure. It is kind of unfortunate that this side of the grove sustained a lot of damage from that heat dome because you know most of the afternoon sun was right here on this end of the grove so that's too bad so if i do this to the whole grove it's definitely going to take me a while so i'm not going to record all this because that would be really boring but uh this needs to be done once in a while it kind of got to thin out the really thin little stuff and anything that might be kind of dead or dying I, you know, I am no bamboo pro. I just experiment, so this is me experimenting. Broke a couple nice new ones on accident, whoops. So I just wanted you to be able to see a little bit of the chaos back here. This is what I've been trimming back here. All the brown stuff is the new growth. You can see there's a ton of new growth here in this scabrita on the end, it looks really nice. Uh, and then some that's outside the barrier there. I'm, I'm gonna have to work on getting rid of those, but that's all nice new growth. And then a lot of those yellow ones down there, a lot of them are still really thin and I'm going to have to trim those off. So I'll eventually get those, but maybe not anymore right now. But uh, I got to go through the whole grove and, and trim out this real thin stuff. And then uh, it's going to look better and better as we go. So this is my final update on this video. This is uh, June 10th, 11th, 12th, something like that. I don't know. I should have looked before I started recording. But as you can see, look at all that new growth. It's two, three feet taller than last year's growth. So that fertilize that I did at the beginning of the season really did make a difference. It does look darker green than it did originally. I'm sure of it. And uh, it's looking pretty awesome. I just need to uh, get in there and really thin it out a little bit, which I'm gonna do over the next month or two. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this update. Um, the bamboo is doing awesome. I think this is going to be one of its best years ever. And this is, I'm finally reaching my goal, which is blocking those upper windows. So I'm sorry about the lawnmower noise in the background, but I just figured whatever. We're outdoors and that's the way it's going to go. But this is the Grove. This is how it's looking this year. If you like this update, go ahead and subscribe. Every year I'm going to do another update. And I'm also working on a pool project. And I'm also working on a rock path. I also have another rock hunting video I'm going to post soon, so just subscribe and keep checking back.